Hello my friends how are you, welcome to my new video tutorial. Today we will learn how to install Windows 11 on your computer without losing your Microsoft license and how to save your personal files, programs, and applications in a simple and easy way. You will now no longer need to save your files on another drive before installing the new Windows 11, and you will not have to reinstall your programs and applications after the process is completed, since personal files and programs will be saved automatically. To show how it works, I have prepared several folders on my desktop with my files, videos and photos, all of which will be automatically saved when Windows 11 is installed. Here I have several programs, and they will also work in the new Windows 11, you will see all this at the end of my video tutorial. Before starting the installation, let's find out if our computer is suitable for Windows 11. To do this, you need to install an application from Microsoft on your computer so that it scans all the capabilities of our computer. Open the description of my video and click the link to the download page for this application. On this page, click here and the application will start downloading to your computer. The download is finished, the browser can be closed, I open the folder, Explorer, then the Downloads folder, and here I double-click on the application icon. To install the application, check the box, and click Install. The application has launched, and now click here. Well, my computer is suitable for Windows 11, let's see the scan result. Yes, I can install Windows 11 without any problems and if you see the same result on your computer, let's continue our video review. But if someone's computer or laptop does not support Windows 11, please do not be upset, you can open another video tutorial on my channel, and under its guidance, install Windows 11 on your computer without any problems. The link to this tutorial is in the description of the video. So, if you previously had Windows 10 or Windows 8, in order not to lose your license, you need to follow a certain procedure during the installation process. First action. At one of the installation steps, the program will prompt you to enter a product key, but here you do not need to use an activation key, Click I don't have a product key and continue with the installation. Second action. In the window where you need to select the edition of Windows 11, you need to select the same edition that you had earlier. If you had Windows 10 or Windows 8 Home, you need to select Windows 11 Home. If you had Windows Pro, you must select Windows 11 Pro, then you will not lose your license and Windows 11 activation will happen automatically. And finally, the third action, it will be as simple as the first two actions. During the installation process, there is no need to delete partitions and format the disk for Windows, you only need to click on the disk with the old Windows that you had before, and after that click, Next. The Windows installer will save all your personal files, all applications and put them in the Windows old folder, we can read about this in a message from the installer. I insert the USB flash drive into the computer, and now I need to make sure that there are no necessary documents and files, because at the time of creating the Windows USB flash drive, all data will be completely deleted. You should know that a USB flash drive for our purpose must be at least 8GB in size, and as we can see, my flash drive is quite suitable. This can take quite some time and if you are installing Windows 11 on a laptop, connect your laptop to a power source before starting the process. Now let's move on to the next step, open your browser and in search write, download Windows 11. Or open the video description, and click the link to the Windows 11 download page. The Microsoft page has opened, here we can get acquainted with the installation rules for Windows 11, and here we will download a special application to the computer, a tool for creating a bootable USB flash drive, and for this we will click, here. The application has been loaded and our browser can be closed. Now let's open File Explorer. And open the folder, Downloads. Double click on the icon, 
and the application will start. Here you must accept the terms of the license, accept. He application has determined the parameters of your computer and can continue creating a bootable USB flash drive by default, but in this window you can uncheck the box and set any other language for Windows 11. I leave English. Windows 11 is now only 64-bit, and we cannot choose a 32-bit operating system here, as we did before with Windows 10 or Windows 8. Next. In this window, we can download the Windows 11 ISO file to the computer, so that later we can create a bootable USB flash drive using another program, I choose to create a bootable Windows 11 flash drive using the media creation tool. Next. In this window, we see our USB flash drive for creating bootable media, I click, next, and the creation of bootable Windows 11 media has begun. For a while you don't have to do anything and you can continue to work on the computer, or just relax and have a cup of tea or coffee. The process of creating a bootable Windows 11 flash drive is completed, click, finish. Let's open this computer and see what's with our flash drive. Yes, all Windows 11 files are on the flash drive and now you can start installing Windows 11 on your computer. And so, we reboot the computer and after that we need to call the boot menu. Immediately after the reboot begins, continuously press a specific key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it may be, F8, F9, F11, F12 or some other key. There is no single standard and different computers may have different keys for calling the boot menu. The boot menu has opened, in the boot menu find the installation flash drive, press, enter. The Windows 11 installation menu opens, click, next. Here we click, install now. Here click, I don't have an activation key, next. If you had Windows 10 or Windows 8 Home, choose Windows 11 Home, if you had Windows Pro, choose Windows 11 Pro. This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Next. Here you need to agree to the terms of the license. Next. Here you need to select Windows installation. In this window we see all the disks and partitions of our computer. Usually the installer does not assign drive letters, as we can see when we open this PC, and therefore we need to determine the C drive by its size. I now have one physical disk connected to my computer, in this window we see four partitions and on partition number three there is my old Windows 10. This partition is the largest here the other three partitions are always much smaller than the partition on which the old Windows is located. If you have multiple physical drives connected to your computer and you cannot determine which drive the old Windows is installed on in this window, then you need to stop the installation, force restart the computer and when you log into Windows. You need to open this PC and remember what size drive C, where Windows is usually installed. To install Windows 11 and save personal files, in no case do you need to format and delete these disks to continue the installation, click on the disk with the old Windows, and click, Next. In this window we see a message from the installation program that all personal files from the old Windows will be saved in the Windows old folder. Click, OK, and the installation of Windows 11 has begun. The computer will restart several times during the installation process. Please do not turn off your computer. The installation of Windows 11 has begun to complete, and here we see a cascade of appearance updates, a new region selection window, I select the US region and click, yes. 
Also, all windows in a new design, with pictures and animation, the next window for choosing a keyboard layout, leave the standard layout and click, yes. Here, as usual, it is proposed to add a second layout, click, skip. In this window, you can give a name to your computer, I will do this later. Here it is suggested to choose settings for personal use or for work, I choose personal settings and click, next. I click, sign in. In this window, as always, it is proposed to add a user, to create a new account, click, create, by clicking here you can enter with a security key. I'll sign in with my Microsoft account. Next. Here you need to enter your Microsoft account password. To avoid making the video too long, I'll skip a few Windows 11 settings. Windows 11 welcomes us, there is very little left. Yes. I managed to install a new Windows 11. I hope everything went well for you too. I open settings. Then the activation tab. And here we can see that my new Windows 11 Pro is activated with a digital license associated with my Microsoft account. Now I open File Explorer. Then, this PC, and double click on the C drive. Here is the Windows old folder, and it should contain all my personal files. I open this folder, then the folder, Users. Here I open the folder with my username. If you remember, there were several folders on my desktop in Windows 10, and I open the desktop. Yes, here are my file folders and I drag them onto the desktop. Now I will check whether I have lost my files or not. All the videos in the folder are there and they are not damaged. The files in the folder were also saved without any changes. And finally, you need to check how applications from the old Windows 10 work. To do this, you need to open this computer again, then open Drive C, and open our Windows old again. Now we need to open the Program Files folder, usually all installed applications are stored here. I will open the folder with this program, and to make it convenient to launch the program, you need to place its icon on the desktop. To do this, right-click on the program icon, and select Send to Desktop. I double-click on the application icon and the program works. Now I will select another application. It is called, Audacity. And I also send its icon to the desktop. I double-click on the icon and it launches without any problems. Well, now you are convinced that this method works with 100% results. This concludes my video review and I hope what I just said could help you and if you found it helpful please share my video with someone. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck.